Manchuria simplified Chinese, Manzhou traditional Chinese, Manzhou pinyin, Manzhou is a name first used in the 17th century by Japanese people to refer to a large geographic region in Northeast Asia. Depending on the context, Manchuria can either refer to a region that falls entirely within the People's Republic of China or a larger region divided between China and Russia. Manchuria is widely used outside China to denote the geographical and historical region. This region is the traditional homeland of several groups, including the Koreans, Shenbei, Khitan, and Jurchen later called Manchu Manzu peoples, who built several states within the area historically however, no term for Manchuria exists in the Manchu language, which originally referred to the area as the Three Eastern Provinces, MNC. Derji Elon Golo, Zh. Dong San Sheng Dong San Sheng Dong San Sheng. Topic. Definition The definition of Manchuria can be any one of several regions of various size. These are, from smallest to largest, Northeast China Dongbei, consisting of Heilongjiang, Jilin, and Liaoning. This is the area referred to as Manchuria in the World Geographical Scheme for Recording Plant Distributions. Inner Manchuria, the above, plus parts of modern Inner Mongolia Hulunbir, Hingan, Tongliao, and Qifeng divisions, plus Chengdu. The above, plus Outer Manchuria Outer Northeast China or Russian Manchuria, the area from the Amur and Usuri rivers to the Stanovoy Mountains and the Sea of Japan. In Russian administrative terms, Usuri Krai, Southern Harbin Oblast, Primorsky Krai. These were part of the Qing dynasty China according to the Treaty of Nerchinsk 1689 that defined the border in the region between China and Russia, but were ceded to Russia by the unequal treaties of the Treaty of Igun 1858 and the Treaty of Peking 1860. The above, plus Sakhalin Island, which is generally included on Qing dynasty maps as part of Outer Manchuria even though it is not explicitly mentioned in the Treaty of Nerchinsk. The island was also included in Manchuria on maps made by the Japanese Soganate and Russian Empire. Despite lines on maps and empire's political claims, the island was inhabited by Ainu people until the Soviet Union enforced an evacuation policy after 1945. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology and Names. Three centuries and a half must now pass away before entering upon the next act of the Manchu drama. The new Chens had been scotched, but not killed, by their Mongol conquerors, who, 134 years later 1368, were themselves driven out of China, a pure native dynasty being re-established under the style of Ming. Bright. During the ensuing 200 years the new Chens were scarcely heard of, the House of Ming being busily occupied in other directions. Their warlike spirit, however, found scope and nourishment in the expeditions organized against Japan and Tan Lo, or Quelpart, as named by the Dutch, a large island to the south of the Korean peninsula, while on the other hand the various tribes scattered over a portion of the territory known to Europeans as Manchuria, availed themselves of long immunity from attack by the Chinese to advance in civilization and prosperity. It may be noted here that, Manchuria is unknown to the Chinese or to the Manchus themselves as a geographical expression. The present extensive home of the Manchus is usually spoken of as the three eastern provinces, namely, 1 Shenking, or Liao Tung, or Quan Tung, 2 Kiran, and 3 Heilungcheng or Sisihar. Herbert A. Giles, China and the Manchus, 1912. Manchuria is a translation of the Japanese word Manchu, which dates from the 19th century. The name Manju was invented and given to the Jurchen people by Hong Taiji in 1635 as a new name for their ethnic group, however, the name Manchuria was never used by the Manchus or the Qing dynasty itself to refer to their homeland. According to the Japanese scholar Junko Miyawaki Okada, the Japanese geographer Takahashi Kagiyasu was the first to use the term Manjo. Manchu as a place name in 1809 in the Nippon Henkai Raikuzu, and it was from that work that Westerners adopted the name. According to Mark C. Eliot, Katsuragawa Hoshu's 1794 work, the Hokusa Bunraiku was where Manjo Manchu first appeared as a place name was in two maps included in the work, Aisha Zenzu and Chikyu Hankyu Sozu, 
which were also created by Katsuragawa. Manjo. Manchu then began to appear as a place names in more maps created by Japanese like Kandi Juzo, Takahashi Kagiyasu, Baba Sadayoshi and Yamada Ren, and these maps were brought to Europe by the Dutch Philip von Siebold. According to Nakama Tatsua, Philip Franz von Siebold was the one who brought the usage of the term Manchuria to Europeans after borrowing it from the Japanese, who were the first to use it in a geographic manner in the 18th century although neither the Manchu nor Chinese languages had a term in their own language equivalent to Manchuria as a geographic place name. The Manchu and Chinese languages had no such word as Manchuria, and the word has imperialist connotations. According to Bill Sewell, it was Europeans who first started using the name Manchuria to refer to the location and it is not a genuine geographic term. The historian Gavin McCormick agreed with Robert H. G. Lee's statement that the term Manchuria or Mancho is a modern creation used mainly by Westerners and Japanese. With McCormick writing that the term Manchuria is imperialistic in nature and has no precise meaning. Since the Japanese deliberately promoted the use of Manchuria as a geographic name to promote its separation from China at the time they were setting up their puppet state of Manchukuo. The Japanese had their own motive for deliberately spreading the usage of the term Manchuria. The historian Norman Smith wrote that the term Manchuria is controversial. Professor Mariko Asano Tamanoi said that she should use the term in quotation marks when referring to Manchuria. In his 2012 dissertation on the Jurchen people to obtain a Doctor of Philosophy degree in history from the University of Washington, Professor Chad D. Garcia noted that usage of the term Manchuria is out of favor in current scholarly practice, and that he had ceased using the term, instead using the Northeast, or referring to specific geographical features. In the 18th century Europe, the region later known as Manchuria was most commonly referred to as Chinese Tartary. However, the term Manchuria Manchuri, in French started appearing by the end of the century. French missionaries used it as early as 1800. The French-based geographers Conrad Malta Brun and E.D.M.E. Mintel promoted the use of the term Manchuria Manchuri, in French, along with Mongolia, Kalmykia, etc., as more precise terms than Tartary, in their world geography work published in 1804. In current Chinese parlance, an inhabitant of the Northeast, or Northeast China, is a Northeasterner. Dongbei Ren Dongbei Ren, the Northeast, is a term that expresses the entire region, encompassing its history, culture, traditions, dialects, cuisines and so forth, as well as the three East provinces, or Three Northeast Provinces. In China, the term Manchuria traditional Chinese, Manzhou simplified Chinese, Manzhou pinyin, Manzhou is rarely used today, and the term is often negatively associated with the Japanese imperial legacy in the puppet state of Manchukuo traditional Chinese, Manzhou guo simplified Chinese, Manzhou guo pinyin, Manzhou guo. Manchuria has also been referred to as Guangdong traditional Chinese, Guangdong simplified Chinese, Guangdong pinyin, Guangdong, which literally means East of the Pass, and similarly Guanwai, 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 Outside the Pass, a reference to Shanghai Pass in Qinhuangdao in today's Hebei, at the eastern end of the Great Wall of China. This usage is seen in the expression Chuang Guangdong, literally, rushing into Guangdong referring to the mass migration of Han Chinese to Manchuria in the 19th and 20th centuries. The name Guangdong later came to be used more narrowly for the area of the Kwantung Lease territory on the Liaodong Peninsula. It is not to be confused with the southern province of Guangdong. During the Qing dynasty, the region was known as the Three Eastern Provinces. Traditional Chinese, Dong San Sheng simplified Chinese, Dong San Sheng Pinyin, Dong San Sheng, Manchu, Derji Ilan Golo since 1683 when Jilin and Heilongjiang were separated even though it was not until 1907 that they were turned into actual provinces. The administrators of the three areas were the general of Heilongjiang Sahalian Ula I Jiangjian, general of Jilin Giren I Jiangjian, and general of Shengjing Mukden I Jiangjian. The area of Manchuria was then converted into three provinces by the late Qing government in 1907. Since then, the phrase, three northeast provinces, 
was officially used by the Qing government in China to refer to this region, and the post of Viceroy of the Three Northeast Provinces was established to take charge of these provinces. After the 1911 revolution, which resulted in the collapse of the Manchu-established Qing dynasty, the name of the region where the Manchus originated was known as the Northeast. In official documents in the newly founded Republic of China, in addition to the three northeast provinces. During the Ming dynasty the area where the Jurchens lived was referred to as Nurgan. Nurgan was the area of modern Jilin in Manchuria. Geography and climate Manchuria consists mainly of the northern side of the funnel-shaped North China Craton, a large area of tilled and overlaid Precambrian rocks spanning 100 million hectares. The North China Craton was an independent continent before the Triassic period and is known to have been the northernmost piece of land in the world during the Carboniferous. The Kingan Mountains in the west are a Jurassic mountain range formed by the collision of the North China Craton with the Siberian Craton, which marked the final stage of the formation of the supercontinent Pangaea. No part of Manchuria was glaciated during the Quaternary, but the surface geology of most of the lower-lying and more fertile parts of Manchuria consists of very deep layers of loess, which have been formed by wind-borne movement of dust until particles formed in glaciated parts of the Himalayas, Kunlun Shan and Tian Shan, as well as the Gobi and Taklamakan deserts. Soils are mostly fertile mollusols and fluvents except in the more mountainous parts where they are poorly developed orthents, as well as in the extreme north where permafrost occurs and orthals dominate. The climate of Manchuria has extreme seasonal contrasts, ranging from humid, almost tropical heat in the summer to windy, dry, arctic cold in the winter. This pattern occurs because the position of Manchuria on the boundary between the Great Eurasian Continental Landmass and the huge Pacific Ocean causes complete monsoonal wind reversal. In the summer, when the land heats faster than the ocean, low pressure forms over Asia and warm, moist south to southeasterly winds bring heavy, thundery rain, yielding annual rainfall ranging from 400 mm 16 in, or less in the west, to over 1,150 mm 45 in, in the Changbai Mountains. Temperatures in the summer are very warm to hot, with July average maxima ranging from 31 degrees Celsius 88 degrees Fahrenheit in the south to 24 degrees Celsius 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the extreme north. Except in the far north near the Amur River, high humidity causes major discomfort at this time of year. In the winter, however, the vast Siberian high causes very cold, north to northwesterly winds that bring temperatures as low as minus 5 degrees Celsius 23 degrees Fahrenheit in the extreme south and minus 30 degrees Celsius minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit in the north where the zone of discontinuous permafrost reaches northern Heilongjiang. However, because the winds from Siberia are exceedingly dry, snow falls only on a few days every winter, and it is never heavy. This explains why corresponding latitudes of North America were fully glaciated during glacial periods of the Quaternary while Manchuria, though even colder, always remained too dry to form glaciers, a state of affairs enhanced by stronger westerly winds from the surface of the ice sheet in Europe. History Topic. Early history Manchuria was the homeland of several ethnic groups, including Koreans, Manchu, Ulchs, Hujun, Turkic peoples and the Nivik people. Various ethnic groups and their respective kingdoms, including the Sushun, Donghu, Shenbei, Wawan, Mohe, Khitan and Jurchens have risen to power in Manchuria. At various times, Han Dynasty, Cao Wei Dynasty, Western Jin Dynasty, Tang Dynasty and some other minor kingdoms of China established control in parts of Manchuria and in some cases tributary relations with peoples in the area. Various Koreanic kingdoms such as Gojoseon, Buyo and Goguryeo were also established in large parts of this area. Parts of Manchuria were under control of the Turkic Khaganate. A number of world-renowned linguists, including Dr. Bang Han Kim, Dr. Alexander Vovin, and Dr. J. Marshall Unger refer to the Goguryeo language and a number of other Koreanic languages like Yi Make or Buyo as distinctly Old Korean. 
According to several historians, the Korean homeland is located somewhere in Manchuria. Several linguists, including Rabitz at all point two zero one five and at all point two zero one seven, suggest that the homeland of the Turkic languages and peoples is located in Manchuria. With the Song dynasty to the south, the Khitan people of Inner Mongolia created the Liao dynasty in the region, which went on to control adjacent parts of northern China as well. The Liao dynasty was the first state to control all of Manchuria. In the early 12th century, the Tungusic Jurchen people, who were Lao's tributaries, overthrew the Liao and formed the Jin dynasty, which went on to control parts of northern China and Mongolia after a series of successful military campaigns. During the Yuan dynasty, 1271-1368, Manchuria was administered under the Liaoyang province. In 1375, Nagachu, a Mongol official of the Mongolia-based northern Yuan dynasty in Liaoyang province invaded Liaodong, but later surrendered to the Ming dynasty in 1387. In order to protect the northern border areas, the Ming decided to pacify the Jurchens in order to deal with its problems with Yuan remnants along its northern border. The Ming solidified control over Manchuria under the Yongle Emperor 1402-1424, establishing the Nurgan Regional Military Commission. Starting in the 1580s, a Jianzhou Jurchen chieftain, Nurhachi 1558-1626, started to unify Jurchen tribes of the region. Over the next several decades, the Jurchen took control of most of Manchuria. In 1616, Nurhachi founded the later Jin dynasty, later became known as the Qing dynasty. Chinese cultural and religious influence such as Chinese New Year, the Chinese God, motifs such as the dragon, spirals, and scrolls, agriculture, husbandry, methods of heating, and material goods such as iron cooking pots, silk, and cotton spread among the Amur natives including the Udigays, Ulchis, and Nanais. In 1644, after the Ming dynasty's capital of Beijing was sacked by the peasant rebels, the Jurchens now called Manchus allied with Ming general Wu Sangui and seized control of Beijing, overthrowing the short-lived Shun dynasty and establishing Qing dynasty rule 1644 to 1912 over all of China. The Willow Palisade was a system of ditches and embankments built by the Qing dynasty during the later 17th century to restrict the movement of Han civilians into Jilin and Heilongjiang. Only Bannermen, including Chinese Bannermen, were allowed to settle in Jilin and Heilongjiang. After conquering the Ming, the Qing often identified their state as China, Zhangguo Zhangguo, Middle Kingdom, and referred to it as Dulimbai Gurin. Middle Kingdom in Manchu. In the Qing Shilu the lands of the Qing state including Manchuria and present-day Xinjiang, Mongolia, Tibet are thus identified. The Middle Kingdom in both the Chinese and Manchu languages in roughly two-thirds of the cases, while the term refers to the traditional Chinese provinces populated by the Han in roughly one-third of the cases. It was also common to use China. Zhangguo, Dulimbai Gurin to refer to the Qing in official documents, international treaties, and foreign affairs. In diplomatic documents, the term Chinese language, Dulimbai Gurin Ibith referred to Chinese, Manchu, and Mongol languages, and the term Chinese people, Zhangguo Ren Zhangguo Ren, Manchu, Dulimbai Gurin I Nialma referred to all Han, Manchus, and Mongol subjects of the Qing. The lands in Manchuria were explicitly stated by the Qing to belong to China in Qing edicts and in the Treaty of Nerchinsk, however Qing rule saw a massively increasing number of Han Chinese both illegally and legally streaming into Manchuria and settling down to cultivate land because Manchu landlords desired that Han Chinese peasants rent their land and grow grain. Most Han Chinese migrants were not evicted because they went over the Great Wall and the Willow Palisade. During the 18th century Han Chinese farmed 500,000 hectares of privately owned land in Manchuria and 203,000 1,583 hectares of lands which were part of Coutrier stations, noble estates, and banner lands. In garrisons and towns in Manchuria Han Chinese made up 80% of the population. Han Chinese farmers were resettled from North China by the Qing in the area along the Liao River in order to restore the land to cultivation. Wasteland was reclaimed by Han Chinese squatters in addition to other Han who rented land from Manchu landlords. 
Despite officially prohibiting Han Chinese settlement on Manchu and Mongol lands, by the 18th century the Qing decided to settle Han refugees from northern China who were suffering from famine, floods, and drought into Manchuria and Inner Mongolia, so that Han Chinese farmed 500,000 hectares in Manchuria and tens of thousands of hectares in Inner Mongolia by the 1780s. The Qianlong Emperor allowed Han Chinese peasants suffering from drought to move into Manchuria despite his having issued edicts in favor of banning them from 1740 to 1776. Chinese tenant farmers rented or even claimed title to land from the imperial estates and Manchu bannerlands in the area. Besides moving into the Liao area in southern Manchuria, the path linking Jinzhou, Fengtian, Tiling, Chongchun, Hulin, and Ningguda was settled by Han Chinese during the Qianlong Emperor's reign, and Han Chinese were the majority in urban areas of Manchuria by 1800. To increase the imperial treasury's revenue, the Qing sold formerly Manchu-only lands along the Singari to Han Chinese at the beginning of the Daoguang Emperor's reign, and Han Chinese filled up most of Manchuria's towns by the 1840s, according to Abbey Huc. The Russian conquest of Siberia was accompanied by massacres that were carried out by the Russian Cossacks, who ended indigenous resistance to colonization by savagely crushing the natives. At the hands of people like Vasily Poyarkov in 1645 and Yerofy Kabarov in 1650, the Russians slaughtered some peoples like the Dor to such an extent that it is now considered genocide. The Dors initially deserted their villages since they heard about the cruelty of the Russians the first time Kabarov came. The second time he came, the Dors decided to do battle against the Russians instead but were slaughtered by Russian guns. The indigenous peoples of the Amur region were attacked by Russians who came to be known as Red Beards. The Russian Cossacks were named Luocha, Luo Sha after demons found in Buddhist mythology, by the Amur natives because of their cruelty towards the Amur tribe's people, who were subjects of the Qing. The Russian proselytization of Eastern Orthodox Christianity to the indigenous peoples along the Amur River was viewed as a threat by the Qing. In 1858, a weakening Qing Empire was forced to cede Manchuria north of the Amur to Russia under the Treaty of Igun. In 1860, at the Treaty of Peking, the Russians managed to obtain a further large slice of Manchuria, east of the Usuri River. As a result, Manchuria was divided into a Russian half known as Outer Manchuria and a remaining Chinese half known as Inner Manchuria. In modern literature, Manchuria usually refers to Inner Chinese Manchuria. As a result of the treaties of Aigun and Peking, China lost access to the Sea of Japan. <laughs> History after 1860 Inner Manchuria also came under strong Russian influence with the building of the Chinese Eastern Railway through Harbin to Vladivostok. In the Chuang Guangdong movement, many Han farmers, mostly from the Shandong Peninsula moved there. By 1921, Harbin, northern Manchuria's largest city, had a population of 300,000, including 100,000 Russians. Japan replaced Russian influence in the southern half of Inner Manchuria as a result of the Russo-Japanese War in 1904-1905. Most of the southern branch of the Chinese Eastern Railway was transferred from Russia to Japan, and became the South Manchurian Railway. Japanese influence extended into Outer Manchuria in the wake of the Russian Revolution of 1917, but Outer Manchuria had reverted to Soviet control by 1925. Manchuria was an important region due to its rich natural resources including coal, fertile soil, and various minerals. For pre-World War II Japan, Manchuria was an essential source of raw materials. Without occupying Manchuria, the Japanese probably could not have carried out their plan for conquest over Southeast Asia or taken the risk to attack Pearl Harbor and the British Empire in 1941. It was reported that among Banner people, both Manchu and Chinese Hanjin in Aihun, Heilongjiang in the 1920s, would seldom marry with Han civilians, but they Manchu and Chinese Bannermen would mostly intermarry with each other. Owen Lattimore reported that during his January 1930 visit to Manchuria, he studied a community in Jilin Kirin, where both Manchu and Chinese Bannermen were settled at a town called Wulakai, and eventually the Chinese Bannermen there could not be differentiated from Manchus since they were effectively Manchufied assimilated. The Han civilian population was in the process of absorbing and mixing with them when Lattimore wrote his article. 
Around the time of World War I, Zhang Zuolin established himself as a powerful warlord with influence over most of Manchuria. During his rule, the Manchurian economy grew tremendously, backed by immigration of Chinese from other parts of China. The Japanese assassinated him on 2 June 1928, in what is known as the Wanguten Incident. Following the Mukden Incident in 1931 and the subsequent Japanese invasion of Manchuria, the Japanese declared Inner Manchuria an independent state and appointed the deposed Qing Emperor Puyi as puppet emperor of Manchukuo. Under Japanese control Manchuria was one of the most brutally run regions in the world, with a systematic campaign of terror and intimidation against the local Russian and Chinese populations including arrests, organized riots and other forms of subjugation. Manchukuo was used by Japan as a base to invade the rest of China. After the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, Japan in 1945, the Soviet Union invaded from Soviet Outer Manchuria as part of its declaration of war against Japan. Soon afterwards, the Communist Party of China and Chinese Nationalist Party Kuomintang started fighting for control over Manchuria. The Communists won in the Laotian campaign and took complete control over Manchuria. With the encouragement of the Soviet Union, Manchuria was then used as a staging ground during the Chinese Civil War for the Communist Party of China, which emerged victorious in 1949. Ambiguities in the treaties that ceded Outer Manchuria to Russia led to dispute over the political status of several islands. This led to armed conflict in 1969, called the Sino-Soviet Border Conflict, resulting in an agreement. In 2004, Russia agreed to transfer Yinlong Island and one half of Heishiazi Island to the PRC, ending an enduring border dispute. See also Tungusic peoples Koreans Mongols Turkic peoples North China Manchukuo Chinese Tartary Religion in Northeast China